My name is Alexander Moskos and I rode Rainbow at night. Uh, a few years back I was very, very fortunate to meet this couple in their early 80s. Um, the woman um, suffering from dementia. And I think without them really knowing, they sort of shared a lot of their relationship with me. And I think that's the greatest gift of all, really. I mean, uh, love is to be shared. And I just re I was really interested in the obstacle of someone, you know, quote unquote, losing their mind um, and still being in a relationship. Um, and so I wanted to tell, not their story, but I wanted to tell a similar story and I wanted to look into what most people don't look into when they think about dementia, which is um, the spirituality of it and what, and what actually happens to emotions and feelings as opposed to, and positive emotions and feelings as opposed to the negative, sort of, very heavy subject matter that it usually becomes. When people reach a certain age, they're almost desexualized by, um, <clears throat> by society, by the media, and it's very interesting that people suffering from dementia, not all types of dementia, but um, certain kinds of dementia that really brings forward um, a sexual behavior that would be completely accepted if you're in Ayanapa as a 16 year old but all of a sudden when you're 80 um, you can't do that anymore and I think I really wanted to explore the idea of sexuality not just between two people of a certain age but also between two people who are, who have this obstacle, in this case being the, being the illness. Um, I used to work as a support worker um, for a few years, um, mostly with uh, people suffering from dementia and Alzheimer's, and also with people living with um, a spouse or a relative um, with dementia or Alzheimer's um, and so I've been around a lot of it and um, the way the mind works is just something that's very interesting to me. The story itself began as a little short story that I wrote um, and then I was approached by First Draft Theatre um, and they asked me whether I'd be interested in actually having someone perform the short story as a, as a monologue and I thought, why not? <laughs> and um, with that I think I realized that there was definitely a, a way for it to find its way onto the stage and with the help of First Draft Theatre I think we really were able to really pull out the theatrical aspect of the story because there was already a lot of it in there and um, it just sort of flourished from there on and we've, this is now I think the third production um, and there have been a lot of different actors involved, um, a lot of different voices which has also helped a lot for me and my writing process um, and it's been bouncing ideas with you know with the creative team and the actors and me and just it's been a very pleasant relationship I think if you come and see this I'm hoping that you'll leave the theater going oh, as opposed to I just want to have a pint in the bar downstairs now. Everyone 
needs a little bit of romance in their life, and I think this is a great piece to get some. It's a rom-com about the power of love, so it's, yeah, it's basically like a power ballad by Celine Dion with a sense of humor. Thank you.